Hey, different kind of show tonight. This is going to be fun. The Dan York State of Mind program is brought to you at part by Lookout Rhode Island and Taco Comfort Solutions. Welcome in. Friday nights are fun for us, right? Because we get a chance to kind of spread it out. And tonight, uh, we're going to forget the issues and have a little fun talking uh, to uh, a very successful high school coach and his very successful athletes. Uh, Hendricken High School has always been, uh, I think, uh, a high performer on every level. But what happens in the running world at Hendricken is a whole different ballgame. You know, do not laugh. Do not judge about the width of your host on the screen. There was a time when I couldn't compete at this level, but there were a few moments of glory, and I've got the pictures to show it. Uh, I also get on a treadmill now, and think three miles has been a new world record at 28 minutes. Uh, what are you going to do? Getting old is a problem, and the knees just don't like you know, the 70 miles a week that you used to do when you were 16 years of age. Enough about me, but I'm really excited to, to talk to uh, the folks at, at Hendrigan tonight, and um, I'm just going to get into it because it's, it's fun. And here's a headline that shows us that the coach has been named the National Cross Country Coach of the Year. Jim Doyle has been at Hendrickin 35 years, and I haven't seen him in a long time. Great 20, to 25 see 25 years at Hendrickin and 10, 10 years at uh, another Catholic school, uh, St. Rayfield Academy in Pawtucket. Oh, okay. So. All right. So you jumped ship 25 years ago. How come? Uh, at the time, it, uh, there were some administration changes at St. Rayfield Academy, and we, you know, I had some successful runners there, and I enjoyed coaching there. And, uh, you know, there was a new principal, and, and it didn't seem that they were really interested in the, in the running program. So mm. Paul Alanello, the athletic director, who was still the athletic director at Bishop Hendrickin, decided, you know, gave me a call and said, you know, how would you like to coach at Bishop Hendrickin? So that's why I left. Wow, amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you is very this, much. Is this your first national award? This is uh, my first national award. I have some teams that have been, you know, national champions in the past. And, We've been successful in, in relays and things like that. This uh, this sport is so special to me from you know, from the day. Uh, running is hard. It is. It's hard, and people think kids are naturally gifted. Uh, not at the level that you have achieved. And I, I could talk to you all day over a beer and, and just, just pick your brain about what you've done. Let, let's talk about what, what you've done with, with this particular team. Just go ahead and, and, and list the accomplishments, you know, most recently and over the years. Well, most recently, uh, you know, they've been state champions uh, uh, this past year. We were a runner-up in the New Englands. And you know, you would think that would discourage a team, but we went on to the Northeast Regionals, and the top two teams there go on to the national championships. Twenty-two teams were selected for the nationals, and this team uh, finished second that day. Uh, when we went to the nationals, uh, which was out at the Nike campus in Oregon, we were picked uh, to finish 18th, and these guys went on that day to finish fourth in the nation. So. I was quite proud of what they were accomplished this, this past year. And people don't understand that a cross country team, uh, five runners score. Correct. Right? You know, right. you might put seven on the line uh, in most meets. You put seven on the line, yeah. and five of them score. Five of them score. And, and the points are added up by the position that you're in. So if, you're, if you finish first, it's one point. The goal is to be the least amount of points. Like and, golf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like golf. And so you have to not just have a prodigy or two, you have to develop, you have to develop across the board uh, a sense of purpose uh, amongst all of your runners because there's, there, there's and, and that's a hard thing to it get is, across. It is, and from the first day that I started coaching, you know, I always wanted to include everybody, you know, on my team. You know, I wanted to make everybody that came out for the sport uh, really feel special about running and really develop a love for the sport. And from day one at even St. Rayfield Academy, we accomplished that goal. My wife and I were at a small Catholic school that had not won any state championships in, in a period of 10 years. You know, after I had left, 
we had won 12 state championships there. And it wasn't because, you know, it was just that the kids loved running, you know, the, the, you know and, and it was like 35 or 40 boys, 35 or 40 girls. Suddenly we had, you know, like 80 people over our house on Sunday mornings that enjoyed doing a 10 mile long run because, you know, the reward was we had pancakes for them afterwards. Right, so. right. And the same thing when, when, when we went to Bishop Hen when I went to Bishop Hendrick and I, we, you know, we, I decided that we would uh, develop the team concept where everybody would get involved. So if we go on a trip this past year, any trips that we take, we, we're, we take everybody. You know, there's a trip down to North Carolina. We used to fly down there and take make maybe 14 kids. We now take a bus down there of 48 team members, just about the anybody on the team. If they train during the summer, the reward is you can get to go to North Carolina. We take like 54 people to New York, so we, we, we do that kind of stuff. I, I remember that. I remember how much fun it was for a sport which is so individual. Right. It is such a team camaraderie when 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 you all have a purpose. Correct. Right. Correct. It must be very rewarding just to see, especially in this day and age, when when kids. And I want to talk to you about that. But when when kids are, I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. You know, the, right? The I'm sure they still are on, your, on the way to the meets, right? They got adults doing it. Uh, oh. Right. I mean, it's, just, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nonstop. But the ability to 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 to, to be with each other um, um, in travel, because you do a lot of traveling across country. We do. So, there's a lot of regional traveling that goes on. Right. It's not we just do. hey, we got to go up to Pawtucket today, or we got to go down no. to Seekonk today. You're on the road a lot. Right. You better build. You better build a group. Right. right. Exactly. How we, do you do it? We we do it. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, Jack could probably answer this too. But we have a special bond uh, with the team. You know, uh, there's probably when when you get into cross country, there's the you know, uh, uh, the top seven, then there's the next seven, and the next seven, and everybody feels important about their particular team. When we went to North Carolina, we not only won uh, a varsity race, we won the next championship that you know and then the the freshman championship and the JV championship so these kids really feel you know like they they're accomplishing something and they are who they're, comes to run for you now I, you've built up this 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 kind of you know hall of fame type of, of, of program so i'm guessing kids who want to run are coming to Henrik in. and i'm sure you're out there looking at kids who want to run and i know there's some rules about recruiting and all that kind of stuff but i'm sure there's a sophistication about your running program that that stands on its own, but in general, what what kind of kids want to come run? It, it's funny. It's you know, I don't go out there looking for kids. You know, I try to develop. You know, that they have a special love for the sport. I really do. And so, like, I don't believe Jack ran in middle school. You know, and you're gonna it's meet Jack. You're gonna meet Jack yeah. soon. So it's, hang on it's the hardworking kid. Uh, that uh, he may be at the end of his rope, you know, in a, you know one of the other team sports like soccer, or he's tried out for something, or he doesn't particularly. We had a guy that was on the football team that just was a small guy that didn't like football. He's turned in to be a 418 miler. Those are the type of kids that we really love. Yeah, there are some kids that run in middle schools. I don't really encourage kids to run, you know, that much in middle school. I want them to enjoy the other sports. And to find, you know, and to really discover running, you know, when they get to Bishop Henrik in high school. Well, run, running is 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 something that people. It's a default conditioning program. I mean, if you, if you, I mean, I joined the cross country team in high school as a freshman because I want to get in shape for basketball. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, I realized that I had dropped a lot of weight and I yeah. was no longer a chubby kid. And hey, hell, this is great. And you know, with floppy Converse sneakers, you know, want to race. And all right. of a sudden, what? Wait a second, Dad. Could you buy me some running shoes? And yeah. and uh, you know, I'm not saying it was done, 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 but it was like, holy cow! Right. A lot of kids come to it from another orientation, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, we've had basketball players. We have, you know, uh, one particular uh, boy that's on our t on our four by eight uh, team this week that you know was a basketball player. And, yeah, uh, you got indoor going on right now. Right, we right. have indoor track going on. But let's not kid ourselves. I look at the times that your kids run. This is not a normal program. I mean, I, you know, I was a pretty good runner in high school. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't make your top seven. You know, I mean, that 
yeah, I, I, won a, I won a county championship in, in, right. in New Jersey as a freshman. I wouldn't make your, your team. Uh, it, it, this is a phenomenal group of elite athletes that you have. We, we do have you know, a great group, but, but we have a great group of young men that are willing to work. And you know, whatever it is, there are some kids that you know, are willing to do like 60 miles a week. And there are other kids that are on, on this program that you know, do 40 miles a week. You know, we don't try to push anybody beyond you know, what they can possibly handle. You know? And they eventually, some of the so kids- So you're not so, a Lombardi? Nope, I'm definitely not a Lombardi. Kids come on, freshman kids will come on, and I'm blessed to have like some assistant coaches that really help me. Dan Brennan is one, and uh, Ryan Dean is my other assistant coach. Dan works with the freshmen. You know, typically they start off running a couple of miles a day, and you know, sure enough, by the end of the cross country season, they may get up to running 30 miles a week. You know, and help. and there's rewards. We take them on trips. We take them here and there, and all of a sudden, some of them, not all of them, decide, hey. We really, we really like this sport. All right, well, we're going to meet one who does. The Gatorade Runner of the Year joins us next. The Gatorade Player of the Year. This athlete is, uh, is, is just incredible. Uh, Jack McMahon is a senior and is headed to Davidson University uh, to run, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, congratulations on Thank everything you. you've accomplished. So all that stuff Coach is talking about, is it true? It's true. Yeah. Um, the team has a sense of, of purpose and camaraderie. Talk to me about that. Um, I mean, you get together in freshman year and you kind of just enjoy the friendships you build. I mean, it's not just, you know, building. Everyone builds toward a goal, and I mean, you build great friendships for lifetimes. Is, is the, well, listen, the, Hendrickson's a unique environment because it's an all-boys school, right? So athletics really matters uh, at Hendrickson. I mean, you know, I call the basketball championships every year, and... There's Jamal with his team, you know, in the finals or close, 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 right? Yeah. You know, Hendrickson football is, is always in the mix, and you can go Same. on and on and on. Uh, how's the cross country team perceived uh, uh, amongst all of the athletes? It's pretty. Uh, built a lot of respect recently with all of the competition. I would we've... think so, but I remember in the day when I ran, you know, all my buddies were on the football team, and you know, there was a little bit of you know, eh, you run, you know, and we were all skinny. Yeah, we were, uh, and uh, you know, every once in a while they, you know, they bust our, and, and then. But if you performed, all of a sudden there was a, there was a new level of respect that went on there. Uh, is that dynamic still exists? It or does a little bit. Yeah, you know. I mean, you some of the football guys you meet on the track team. So I mean, there's there's a level of respect between all the sports. Yeah, winning's uh, important. Yeah, no, no, winning yeah, those, is important. Those football guys are out there, you know. Now is our sprinters, and we we're counting on them this week. On the track team, yeah, on the track team, so right? They get they they you really gain their respect. They see what these guys are doing, and we see what they do. Right. How hard they work because they do work hard. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you appreciate it. So you what, understand it. What's been the key to your success? Hard work. I mean, just do you love it? I do. Did you run before you you came onto this formally? In middle school, I was one of those kids that would like, show up to a race every once in a while, then like cross country, didn't really train. Uh, mm -hmm. Before my freshman year, during the summer is when I started training seriously and joined the team. My brother was on the team, he was a senior, so something to do when I joined high school. What, what, what happens to you when you run? What, 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 what joy does it bring you? Uh, it's, more, it's more like I'm a competitive person. You gotta love competition to run. So. A lot of people find running boring because it's time with yourself, right? Tell me you don't run with your buds. I don't. Good. No. Good. We don't want to do that, do we? No. No, for safety reasons. Exactly. You know, seriously. I mean, I, I see people out there on the road running with earbuds and think, oh my God. But there is a, you know, there's this endorphin thing that yeah. hits you at some level, right? When you're out there running, I see it. I, 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 I drool when I'm driving down a road and I see some high school kid who I know is a formal runner out there running and I know what kind of bliss they're in. Yeah. It's blissful, yeah. isn't it? Most people don't understand it. Try to explain it. What is it? Just when you're running fast, I mean, it's a it's great feeling. It's like, it's, it's hard to explain. Do you think well when you run? Yeah. Do you do your best thinking your when head. you run? Or yeah. is, it, is it a no thinking moment? It depends. Running with people is always nice, you know, good conversation. When you're competing, 
uh, at the level that you do, what is your mindset when you go into a race? Um, I try to think, not think about it before races and then coming up to it. I mean, just go in with a plan. You got to be confident. Do you eyeball your competition? Do you well, know that, who you got to go get and beat? Is this something coach brings always, to you? Always, yeah. Always have a plan. A, there is a strategic plan. Yes. Right? So if I remember what I read, you actually bettered your time probably in a week's difference uh, here in the, in, the, in the States, right? There was, a, there was the sectional championship and then there was the state championship and you improved your time by 15 seconds on that course in a week's time, right? How did that happen? At your level, that's like a golfer that, that shoots 69 and then comes back and shoots 65. I mean, that's very, very hard to do. How did you do it? I mean, at the state, means it's always a different atmosphere, just a different level of competition. The race went out harder. I mean, it's, it's really about, oh, man, coach always praises mental toughness. It's really important. Just If you can stay in it mentally, you can always run faster. What is mental toughness? Staying focused throughout the entire race. You know? It's hard to do. It is hard to do. I always, another thing that I say to them that in every race, there's that little moment of, you know, that can get into your mind and you know, you're, you're feeling that little pain. It generally lasts for about maybe a, a couple of seconds and then it's up to you at that moment to either get by it or succumb to it, you know. And these guys have learned to get by it. You know, they said, okay, you know, let's give it five seconds and you know, I'll be back in this thing, you know. And, and most of the time they are, they're in it and, and they stick with the race plan. They believe in themselves, they're confident and uh, they go out there and achieve their goals. Yeah, I, I would imagine that most people who watch runners, your parents, do your parents run? Oh, they do not. They know, so they're probably wondering, you know, what, what makes you focus for 15 minutes and 40 seconds over a 5K run? You know, 10, 15, 20 seconds of lost mindset will cost you what you're trying to accomplish. Correct. Um, that's grueling. That's grueling. Yeah, it is. It, it, it really is. And it's so important you know, to go in there and he knows, you know, who his competition is, uh, what his goal is, what he's capable of accomplishment through his training. You got a big so kick? He's confident. You got a big kick or are you somebody that kind of strings it out a little bit? He never had one, but now he does. He's got a kick he's now. He's getting better. He's getting better. So you're this good without a kick and that's going to be the next level for you, right, in college? I mean, if, you, if, you, if all of a sudden you, you got a kick in your tool bag, all of a sudden there's going to be big things for you. I'm the, uh, end of the race, I like I like start, starting slower and working the way through it. I mean, just yeah. last half mile, just start opening it up. What are your goals? Um, we have the state championship Saturday for track, so we're trying to win that. That's a big one. If that's the one that's right in front of you. Yep. All right, when we come back, we'll find out what the big goals are. He's focused. It's right here, right now. We'll be right back. I could do a week's worth of shows with these guys because, I'm, uh, because of my former experience, but... Uh, and my, my admiration for what you've accomplished and, and what you've accomplished. When you mentioned uh, the, 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 so what's the Jersey School, the, the CBA? CBA. Christian, Christian Brothers Academy. Academy yeah. uh, I remember CBA, you know, competing against CBA in New Jersey, thinking, oh, well, that's just, they're, they're a machine. They're a machine. You're the machine. You're the Rhode Island, New England, now national, one of the machines in, in the sport. And that's, that's incredible. It's an incredible accomplishment. Uh, and, and what it takes, as you're looking at some running pictures there, it, what it takes to perform at this level is just, is just incredible. Um, what, as a leader and a guy that's going to lead in the front of the pack, what do you do to, to keep the kids that are you know, three, four, five you know, in, for a, a team championship? What do you do to keep them with you? It's about running together. We, uh, we pack running something that's really important, especially during cross country, knowing like if we keep the team together, that we'll have the best shot of winning the meet. How much pack running do you allow? We we try to encourage it. You know, this guy here. Pack running would mean everybody goes modest. out together, right? He's being modest. He's a leader. He is an unbelievable leader. He encourages everybody. You know in our program, you know, from the seniors right down to the freshmen. He's always checking on everybody to make sure that they're okay. And he doesn't press anybody to run. He's just making sure that, you know, you're doing okay. He's going to races where he's not competing. You know, we're competing at the JV level or freshman level. He's there with the clipboard, you know, writing the times down, giving me some help, you know, and encouraging, you know, his fellow 
uh, runners on the team. He does an um, unbelievable job. How do you take care of yourself? Sleep's important. High Sleep's school kids don't get a lot of sleep, right? But sleep's yeah. really important, right? Nutrition, do you, do you talk a lot about that now? I do. They, they tell me that I talk too much at the <laughs> meetings. So I constantly drill into them, you know, talks about nutrition and, you know, anything else that I can possibly do, the little things that I think that will help them. You know, if you have the chance to do some weight training. These guys start early. Some of these guys are, you know, are going to school at 6 o'clock in the morning. By the time we're done, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. they got to go home. You know, by the time they get home, 6 o'clock, they got to study. So there's only so much that you can do. We try to do what we can with well, the little time that we have. Past this weekend, what's your, what's your big time going? You're going to go to school, you're going to go to Davidson. Um, is a national championship in your mind? Are you thinking Olympics? I mean, those are the things that people normally would ask you about. What's your, what's your mindset? We have, well, just this uh, spring, we're going to have the nationals for high school track. So we're, we have four by mile team. We'll try to go all American for that. Mm. 5K, I'll be in that too. What's your mile time right now? Right now, uh, 425-ish. 425. I'm, I'm more of a longer distance. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, that's, heck, you won't believe how mind. fast that is. Yeah. We had a moment. Um, yeah, but that's not elite uh, on a high school level. So you're, so I'm, you're, you're. I'm more of a two-miler. Yeah, what's your two-mile time? Uh, nine, 914. Okay, that's elite. You know, that's, yeah. that's, that means the engine was running at the same temperature the entire way. And that's usually the way he goes. He keeps getting better. I mean, do the math. 425 and 425 is 850. So the differential there is 30, 25 seconds over, over two. Uh, so he can run an interval. Right. And he trains hard. There's it's, no way you can do that without incredible training. Right. Yeah, he'll, he'll typically get on the track and, and do 10 by 800, you know, uh, with a minute rest in between. And he'll probably end up starting at 225 and get down to like a 215. It's an incredible workout. And only he can do something like that. He's very special. Well, listen, I, I could hang out with you guys all day. Congratulations you. on your work and to the team uh, and for being a leader and going to Davidson and all that kind of stuff. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. For having us what is the, uh, what is the, uh, what's the magic thing about running for this guy? I got 15 seconds. He's a great coach. I mean, he always encourages us. Always just a great coach. He's just saying that because he doesn't want me to give him a 10-mile run today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you get 10-mile runs for punishment? Uh, kids like this go 10-mile run. Go, good, I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> I don't have to deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> today they're going light because we got that state championship yeah. this weekend. Well, good luck so. in that. All All right, again, thank guys, you very much. What a pleasure to have you. Thank uh, you. Final word when we come back. Stay with us. If you want to see competition, you go out to a cross country meet next season in the fall and, and you watch these, uh, these young people and the, and the speed and, and, and the endurance that they have. And there is nothing like a championship race coming down to the wire. I know you all think it's something you know about by watching it on TV, but there's nothing like it. And so you ought to check it out. Uh, congratulations to this Hendrick and team and LaSalle and everybody else that runs. From an old fat runner, you have my admiration. Uh, we will check up on the news of the day in Washington and everything else that's going on. If we were shut down or not, I don't think we were, but I hope not anyway. We'll see you Monday. And on the Radio 3 on WPRO. Good night.